Hey y'all, what's happening? Once again, it is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where edutainment is what I do. Look here. If you are digging what a brother shovel, put some dirt in my bucket. I'm trying to grow something over here. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D Real page so that you can get alerts. Window material drop. Check it out. In the world of comics, the game changes. And we have to stay aware of how the game changes so that when we make demands, when we make requests of the powers that be, they understand where we're coming from and how we're coming. Let me explain what I'm talking about, okay? Um, I don't go real far back. I'll just go back to the 70s. Let's say, yeah, 70s was a great time. 70s was an amazing time for DC Comics. Why? DC Comics had Wonder Woman on television in the 70s, Superman on the big screen, and as many Batman cartoons as you could shake a stick at, not to mention the 1966 series was in heavy syndication all over the country. So, DC star was shiny. Why? At least in the case of Superman and Batman, I think for three reasons, they had the right formula. Number one, comic accurate characters. Christopher Reed looked like Superman. in that 1978 movie. And more than anything else, that iconic image is what made Superman successful. He carried himself like Superman. He looked like Superman. He acted like Superman. That's what made that movie so successful. Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman looked like Wonder Woman. Look. So, because Wonder Woman looked like Wonder Woman, comic book accurate. Batman, always been comic book accurate. He may not have had the muscles, <laughs> but his costume was definitely comic book accurate. Campy and corny as hell, but comic book accurate nonetheless. Recurring villains. Lex Luthor came back in three movies. That's a good thing. I would have rather the villain that kept coming back be somebody like Bizarro or Brainiac or General Zod so that when they did fight, it was a comic book fight and not me monologuing while I put a, a kryptonite chain around your neck. But nonetheless, my point being, that was how the game was played in the 70s. You had to be comic book accurate for it to be successful. Now, as the 90s came in, somebody got the idea that looking comic book accurate would not be a good idea. And that's where Marvel went with it. They said comic book accurate ain't the move because the movie they wanted to do in the 90s was Blade. And Blade looked like this. Nope. We ain't putting that on the big screen. So at the last minute, they made some tweaks and changes and said, okay, Blade gonna look like this. 
And guess what? It kickstarted a whole franchise. Marvel was back in business and, and was in the conversation again. Okay, and then you had X Men, and then you had Spider Man, and 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 who said comic book accurate costumes don't work? Because in the two thousand X Men movie, and when they were wearing black leather, and, and they even made a joke about it, like, "What did you expect? Blue and gold spandex?" Spider Man in his debut movie with Tobey Maguire rocked his comic book accurate costume. So, it wasn't so much that a comic book accurate costume didn't work. It was, depending on what your comic book accurate costume looked like, we may or may not put it on the screen. You can't walk out here looking like 3D man and, 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 and get on screen. You can't walk out here looking like Captain Ultra and get on screen. But later on in Suicide Squad uh, a year ago, we see that you can have a comic book accurate costume that looks ridiculous and still be on the screen. You see what I'm saying? The game changes and you got to change with the game to be relevant. Here's what I'm getting at. Oh, and by the way, surprise, it's a recast to Chala video. <laughs> if a character is not comic book accurate sometimes to appeal to a larger demographic what people like dc and marvel will do is make that character look and or act like their movie version so as to sell more comics so, if the movie is what the comic book will eventually become, what are we looking at for the future of T'Challa in comics, y'all? If currently, in, 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 in movie continuity, T'Challa is deceased, is that the direction we're moving toward in comics? Are we going to kill T'Challa in the comics as well as in the movies? Is that how we honor him? Okay. I admit it, man. Y'all sound stupid as hell saying that. You know, we, we're honoring him by murdering him off because nobody else can play that role as we have two Lokis and three spider man Yeah. Just that role, though. Not, not any other role. Nobody else can play that role. Chadwick Boseman is the greatest actor in the universe, and no one can play the roles he plays. That, 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 that's essentially your logic. Um, and it stinks. It's stupid. And you know it's stupid. You know, like they say in Star Wars, search your feelings. You know this to be true. Okay. Um, I guess basically what I'm getting at is the game gonna keep changing uh, to suit the narrative. And right now, the narrative is, we don't want no black men on screen when it comes to Marvel. And if we do have black men on screen, we want them to be subordinate to somebody. We want them to be beneath somebody. We want them to know, their place, so to speak. So we'll give you watered down, sissified, punk ass Sam Wilson, who got an answer to the government, who got an answer to Wakanda, who got an answer to Shield, who got an answer to his sister, who got an answer to everybody, and can't have no mind of his own, or no thoughts of his own, or no movement of his own, or to even bring any of what made Sam Sam out of the comic books into that motion picture version of Sam. I get it. They they would rather see us relegated to subordinate roles than being kings and lords and masters and presidents and thinkers. So. If that's the Marvel you're cool with, I don't know what to tell you. Um, 
I am I am in a transitional phase. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm in a trend when it comes to when it comes to them. I am really, really in a transitional phase because they are making some dumbass moves. But look here, um, am I just whistling Dixie about this here, or, or, or am I on to some somethings? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, I will be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yeah, y'all be good. Be good to each other.